Who cleaned it up for you? I did. I just put a shit ton of hydrogen peroxide on it. What happened? I got my hand stuck in a bell center and it hurts like hell. Sucks. You're doing well. Despite the injury and the uncooperative weather, we continued on rebuilding our mast. First, we spread on the Aluma prep with the brushes. It's called acid etching. It makes the surface un unsmooth so that anything sticks on much better onto aluminum. Now we're going to spread on the alodyne in order to prep the mast for some paint. It's surprisingly difficult to get paint to stick to a material such as aluminum, so we used both the Aluma Prep and the Alodyne to ensure that the paint would stick properly and to help prevent corrosion in the future. I really liked the golden hue of the Alodyne, but alas, it wasn't permanent. That's going to reinforce the, the indent that was made from the spreaders being loose. So we're going to cut, put these on here, put six rivet on them on each side, and then we're going to cut out the new holes for the for the new spreaders to pass through. Our kitchen is starting to come together, Ravi. Yeah, finally. You may have noticed that we haven't been cooking a lot in our previous couple of videos because this kitchen area has been um, under construction, much like the rest of the boat. But it's hard to kind of convey why <laughs> we can't really show it. It was just a big mess up until we put this uh, this net given to us by Jean Mondo, we put it here and are able to get some of the dishes out of the way. We're still trying to figure out a place for everything. It is usable right now. We recently had the water, our water tanks hooked up by Robbie, and now we can cook and clean in the kitchen. What a novelty. What are you making right now? Hmm? I'm making a rainy, a rainy day banana flambe. Butter. Normally you use butter instead of oil. What's the other word for a lychee? Cardamom. Cinnamon, cardamom, sugar. No sugar. We just lightly pan the bananas with sugar, cinnamon, and a bit of a lychee. I just add the, the rum. Woo! Boiling off the excess water. You can even add coconut milk in here. And you make a whitish sauce and it's very nice. And even a bit of mint. That seagull is on our boat. Bon appetit. That looks really good. We've got our plates.
The old spreaders had been wearing away at the sides of the mast, so we had to fill that area in with some epoxy and scrap aluminum plate bent just to the right angle. You might recall that our old backing plates were too small for the new cables going into the mast, so we started replacing them. This would have been very, very hard to do if we were up the mast, eh? Mm -hmm. Is there any chance my finger can get cut? No. It pulls this thing through the rivet, so it causes the rivet to compress. Oh, okay. We did lots and lots of riveting on this mast. It was also important to make sure that there were no rough bits that could snag halyards or sails. So I sanded them down and Robbie decided to rivet them on so that there would be no movement whatsoever. What's the next step? To cut the holes to put the spreader bars in. We ordered two special pieces of aluminum, bent to an angle of five degrees, that would ensure the stability of our new spreaders. Uh, yeah. Keeping the area clean, you've been told to soak it in some hydrogen peroxide every couple of days. It looks good. It looks like it's healing well. I finally managed to catch Robbie in front of the camera for a couple minutes in order to discuss the little accident that almost cost him the use of his right hand. A couple of years ago, I jumped in the water trying to clean an autopilot and I split my hand open with a, basically a paint scraper and we were in the middle of nowhere in the last atolls in the, in the Maldives last atoll south, Adu and they couldn't do much for me there so I had to fly to Male, the capital and they basically stitched my hand back together and it was an Indian doctor, he did a really good job and my hand was pretty much 100% back together and a couple of days ago, I split my thumb open in a pretty much a belt sander trying to fix our mast and it happened all over again, so damn. Your poor right hand has really taken yeah. a beating with boat work. This time around, I, have to, I learned that I have to be a bit more cautious. Just check that uh, the gap between the sandpaper and the this is a platform that you're sending stuff is almost nil basically that there is no gap between the sandpaper and the uh... belt sender got one Robinson zero yeah because the and gap it... sucked your finger in so that's something I've used belt sanders before that's something to be aware of that's specifically what you have to watch out for next time you're using it yeah
As we attached the spreaders to the new spreader bars, we gave the spar a bit of a squeeze to permanently pop the bar into place. We re-riveted the plastic tube, or the conduit, back into the inside of the mast to house all the wires for the electronics. We also promised the new owners of our previous vessel, MyWay, some introductory sailing lessons. Currents around the Golden Gate Bridge were roaring, and we all learned about the importance of planning your day around the tides. No, we have a cable for the radio antenna, and we have two uh, sets of, of wiring for the lights on the mast. We've got one layer of spray paint on the mast. We're going to put a second coating tomorrow. Got new spreaders, nice and stable. And then all you have to do is put on the the cables and the ropes. That's a top. Now came the installation of some of the final items on the mast. We riveted most things on, but some of the items would have to be bolted on. The last couple of pieces were installed and we were ready to raise the mast. Mm -hmm.